Let's give God a wave offering. Just magnify Jesus. Holy Spirit, glorify Jesus. Establish the miraculous. Glorify Jesus. I decree this garden blessed in Jesus' name. And everybody says, everybody says, Joshua chapter 8, we begin reading from verse number 15, and we read to verse 22, as we rise on our feet to honor the word of the Lord. You're ready to read? Say yes. And Joshua and all Israel made as if they were beaten before them and fled by the way of the wilderness. And all the people that were in Hai were called together to pursue after them. And they pursued after Joshua and were drawn away from the city. And there was not a man left in Hai or Bek that went not out after here and they left the city up open and pursued after here and the Lord said unto Joshua stretch out the spear that is in your hand towards here for I will give it into your hand and Joshua stretched out the spear that he had in his hand towards the city and the ambush arose quickly out of their place and they ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand and they entered into the city and took it and hasted and set the city on fire and when the men of Hai looked behind them, they saw, and behold, the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven. And they had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon the pursuers. And when Joshua and all Israel saw that the ambush had taken the city, and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again and slew the men of Ai. And the other issued out of the city against them, so they were in the midst of Israel, some on this side and some on that side, and they smote them so that they let none of them remain or escape. Shall we focus on verse number 20? And when the men of Ai looked behind them, they saw, and behold, the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven. And they had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon their pursuit. They turned back upon their pursuit. Based upon this eternal word of God, the title of today's prophetic message is Turn Against the Pursuers. What's the title of today's prophetic message? Turn Against the Pursuer. Holy Spirit, breathe life upon thy word. Glorify Jesus. Impact the joy of salvation. Save, heal, deliver, and bless. And all the glory, O most high God, be unto you forevermore. In Jesus Christ's name and the church says, joyfully be seated in the, presence, in the presence of the Lord. What's the title of today's prophetic message? Turn against the pursuer. Wow, powerful scripture. Look at that verse 20 again. And when the men of Hai look behind them, they saw, and behold, the smoke of the city ascended up to heaven. And they had no power to flee this way or that way. And the people that fled to the wilderness turned back upon the pursuers. Israel was defeated by Hai. And they, that gave the confidence to the people of Hai that we can always defeat them. And the, at the time of the first defeat, 
what happened the bible accounted that after the first attempt to capture Hai, but defeated they began to mourn for defeat and the lord said in joshua chapter 7 verse 10 get up why have you fallen face down say that with me get up why have you fallen face down he was right there crying and when he got up again the lord warned joshua when you confront those who defeated you they will come against you just as they did the first time in joshua chapter 8 verses 5 and 6 having been defeated the first time it faced down crying weeping wailing we've just defeated a greater nation 10 times the size of Ahai. We thought this would be easy. Now we have been defeated. And he began to cry. God said, this crying will not change your situation. Mourning over it or lamenting over it will not make things better. Get up! Confront it again. And that's the word of the Lord unto somebody here. It doesn't matter what you have gone through in life. Many attempts you have made when you were thinking it was going to work and it did not work. You've been lamenting and crying over it day after day. That's not going to change the situation. And I hear the voice of the Lord saying unto you, get up and confront it again. And I love the ways of God. His ways are not our ways. Humanly speaking, you will pamper. Just go and try it again. Everything will be okay. God said, if you try it again, it's going to be worse than before. Few people pursue you the first time. This time, the whole city will rise against you. But be not afraid. That's one thing many people don't want to hear. If you try at first, it doesn't work. If you want to attempt it again, the resistance will be stronger than before. Because the enemy already knew your weaknesses. He knew where to get you. But does not mean the harder the resistance, the weaker you become. The harder the resistance, the easier for you to overthrow it. That's God's principle. So some people say, oh, the hand of God is not in this because I thought it was going to be easy. Who told you? Go and ask mothers as they give birth. They will tell you how easy it is. Shout hallelujah. That's the simple principle of life. God said, you are defeated at first, but you will not be defeated forever. You are rising to confront it. You are rising to overcome it. And I hear the voice of the Lord unto somebody here this day. You have been defeated before, not once, not twice in many areas. But that is not the end of your life. The chapter is not closed. You are not being defeated. You are, that does not come to a failure. The voice of the Lord is saying, rise up, get up. Why are you falling face down? Meaning don't worship your defeat. Don't worship that defeat. And because the enemy did this, because the enemy did this, it's time to rise and look up to God for victory. It has cast you down. It has wearied you. It has made you to think of giving up on God. That's the worst thing you ever think of for yourself. Resistances will come. But you can overcome it. Because greater is it that is in you than he that is in the world. And Joshua came face down. The Lord said, you don't worship defeat. By mourning and lamenting and faith, he said, you falling face down. He said, get up! Confront it again. Look at somebody and say, get up! And confront it again. Turn to somebody and say, receive strength to overcome it. And tell yourself, I receive grace to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is there somebody here this morning? There are situations that you have been going through is much of a burden. And the intention is to crush. 
But he had the voice of the Lord as it's written in Psalm 42, verse number 5. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Up thou in God, for I shall yet praise him, for the, is the help of my countenance. The Lord is the help of your countenance. Say yes. Say, I refuse to worship defeat. I refuse to bow down to failure. Is somebody connecting to that right now? Because there are angels confirming it for you. Say, I refuse to worship defeat. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to bow down to reproach. I withdraw every worship to defeat. In the name of Jesus, I will not bow down to reproach. I refuse to worship failure. In Jesus' name. You receive that as a testimony. Shout, yes. Unto as many bow down for one reason or the other. The Lord, the lifter up of your head. Lift up your head and brighten your countenance. And gladden your heart with gladness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Unto anyone here overwhelmed by situations too hard to cope. Receive grace to overcome. You receive that grace to overcome. Say yes. yes. And the Lord said unto Joshua. You are going for it again. But they are coming stronger than before. Be rest assured. I will give you victory. Why are you falling face down? Get up and confront it again. And the Lord gave them the strategy on how they have to overcome. And now this time, the Bible, God said, as they did before, the pursuit will be much difficult. But I will be with you. I decree the blood of Jesus to rise against every pursuit against your life. Overthrow them to desolation. In the name of Jesus, you claim victory over the pursuit of the wicked. Shout amen threefold. Amen. Amen. Make it a resounding threefold. Amen. 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 Now, you need to overcome the strategy of this. AI means ruin. Somebody say ruin. Louder. So, who was pursuing the people of Israel? Ruin. And where were they being pursued to? They were being pursued into the wilderness. May you not be sandwiched with difficult situations. So, if, if they do not run, they will fall under the hand of ruin. Ruin will afflict them. If they keep running, they run into wilderness. And you know what? Those who can discern, discern the mind of God for this age, that is the spirit of this age. Everybody is busy laboring for something. Is the spirit of this age. And in all your seeking, never you neglect your eternal abode. Our aspiration must be weighed in the light of our eternal reward. The spirit of this age make, will make people to keep running towards something. But by the time they get it, they derive no joy in it. It is wilderness. You pursue it with everything at the risk of your eternal reward. Thinking, if I get it, I will be okay. I will just settle down. Who told you? It is wilderness. Anything you pursue void of your eternal goal is wilderness. Because it's a world of wilderness. Everything in it vanishes easily. Go and ask Solomon. He will tell you. After he got it all, it's a vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. I'm pursuing this. I'm running for this. I must get this at all costs, at whatever is going to take me. You get it, and you discover there is no joy in it. What is in this world? The only thing that can bring joy unto anyone is the joy of salvation. If you lack it, you lack everything. If you fail in it, you fail in everything. The spirit of this age will make people to pursue after something. They set their priority wrong. And one thing is, 
Even if you don't pursue anything, there is room in pursuing people. So either way, people are some wish. Being pursued by ruin, and ruin is pursuing them to wilderness. And that's why people will say, I just must do something. Be careful of what you do. Make sure it's, it's orchestrated by God, and God will back it up. So, ruin was making people to get unnecessary agitation. And because there is ruin, and the ruin is pursuing them to wilderness. The spirit of this age will not catch up with you. Israel now was sandwiched between wilderness and ruin. Let the hand of God turn your situation around. The annoying will not catch up with you. Say, as Jehovah liveth, and as his spirit lives, if I were you, I will. This is a decree to make you overcome the spirit of this age. Say, as Jehovah liveth, and as his spirit lives, in the name of Jesus, ruin shall not catch up with me. Ruin shall not pursue me to wilderness. Oh, you better decree. That's the spirit of this age. You better overcome. As Jehovah liveth, and as his spirit lives, ruin shall not pursue me. Ruin shall not pursue me. Ruin shall not catch up with me. Ruin shall not pursue me to wilderness. In the name of Jesus. And everybody says, Are anyone that have been sandwiched by ruin and wilderness, I decree divine escape over your life. I decree divine escape over your soul. I decree divine escape over your spirit. In the name of Jesus, you escape ruin, say yes. You escape wasted, say yes. You escape wilderness, say thank you, Jesus. When somebody is being attacked by ruin, the spirit of wastage is in operation. The, the, it's, ruin is wastage that reduces people to nothing. Such a person will be under the network of decay, collapse, and disintegration. Disintegration. Lift up your voice and say, the Lord rebuke the spirit of wastage. The blood of Jesus rebuke and destroy the spirit of wastage in my life. The blood of Jesus rebuke and... Con uh. Amen. Amen. If you understand what you are praying, your life anchors on this. As gifted as you are, May you not be wasted. Amen. May your glorious expectation not be a waste. Amen. The spirit of expectation, the spirit of wasted we make one to keep expecting, laboring, fighting, pursuing, end up with nothing worse than before. The blood of Jesus rebuked the spirit and condemned the spirit of wastage in your life. Amen. Root it out and cast it out in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice if you are breaking into victory, breaking forth unto victory. Say the blood of Jesus. Can somebody shout the blood of Jesus? Is that a shout? You believe in the power of the blood of Jesus? Shout it. Say the blood of Jesus. Rebuke and condemn ruin in my life. In the mean, in the name of Jesus. Oh, blood of Jesus. Rebuke. And condemn ruin in my life. The blood of Jesus. Rebuke and condemn wastage in my life. Lift up your voice. Come against wastage. Come against wastage in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Rebuke and condemn wastage in my life. Wastage be bound and cast out of my life. Bind it and cast it out. Come on, bind it and cast it out. The spirit causing wastage of good things. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Wastage, get out of my life. Get out of my being. Flee and never return. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody says, say network of decay, collapse and disintegration. Network of decay, collapse and disintegration. Loose your hold over me. Get out. Flee in Jesus' name. Command it to loose hold. Come, ah, ah, if I were you, I'm going to overcome it right now. The hand of the Lord is upon you. Network of decay, collapse and disintegration. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn you. Get out 
of this gathering flee and never return in the mighty name of Jesus and everybody says make it a threefold resounding amen Israel was first defeated by AI AI simply means ruin and this time they were ready to possess the place the greater was the resistance have you gone through some turbulent moments in life resistances in rising to greatness and the lord is giving you strength to confront and overcome the lord is giving you strength to confront and overcome in the mighty name of jesus because it is written the lord shall cause your enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face they come against you in one way they shall fall before thee and flee from before the seven ways if they come against you in one way they will flee from before you seven ways I decree the network of the wicked and their claims to your life. The wind of fire, blast them to desolations in Jesus' name. Now understand this. The people of Israel did not settle for failure. They refused to settle for defeat. Joshua, mourning falling face down and the Lord said get up confront it again and the Lord warned him it may be tougher than before stronger resistant than before but you will overcome and this time as they went forth the Lord gave them strategy he said let there be an ambush on the west and you people go before the people. And as they went to confront Ahai this time, Ahai rose up and started pursuing them. And they turned back. And they were running. And they were running. And they were running with fear. They didn't know what God has in plan. And in verse number 18, what says the scripture? read from same joshua chapter 8 and verse number 18 the bible says and the lord said unto joshua stretch out the spear that is in your hand towards her and i will give it into your hand and joshua stretched out the spear that he heard in his hand towards the city shout hallelujah and verse 19 what happened and the ambush arose quickly out of their place and they ran as soon as he had stretched out his hand and they entered into the city and took it and instead and set the city on fire and everybody says as they were running and the enemy will say, yes, this time, we will not only pursue, we will kill you. We will destroy you. We will wipe you off as a nation. And all the people of Ai and their king, the Bible said they all pursue. And the Israel was running in fear. Suddenly, somebody say suddenly. The commander of the army, Joshua, lifted up his spear towards the pursuing enemy. And he said, turn back against your pursuer. Abomination. How should the wicked be pursuing all the time? The last time you came with the report, I was pursued. This time again, they are pursuing you in my presence as the commander. The lifting up of the spear is like, turn this battle against the adversary. You as a child of God, why should the wicked be pursuing you in everything you do? They pursue, they pursue. It's not a good report. Before the ear of your chief commander, resurrected Jesus, with all the, pra the with all the, the the sufferings and the price that he paid 
For him to keep hearing, somebody pursue me, somebody is running after me, they are throwing their weapons and arrows against me. Say, ah, ah, how long will you understand what I have done and said to for you? So he li- the commander lifted up the spear as the people of Israel were running towards their camp. He lifted up the spear and said, no. The wicked pursuing you, you don't know the price that is already paid. God has done so many, many. Did you fight to overcome Jericho? You did nothing. He did it for you. By your shout of praise, he pulled down Jericho and captured it for you. Consider many other great things God has done for you. Was it by your power, not by your might? If God can do that for you, who are these ones pursuing you? Turn back against your pursuer. And that's the word of the Lord unto somebody here. Amen. They pursue you in, the baby, in your mother's womb. They pursue you as a baby. They pursue you in elementary school. Every stage of life, they are pursuing you. You want to marry, they are pursuing. You want to set you for a good job, they are pursuing. They pursue career. Every area is being pursued. Finances, you know what to do. Yet, no reward, no, 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 no flow of, of resources coming. How long will you be running away for the enemy? And the Spirit of God is saying unto somebody that Jesus did not pay the price in vain. Look at numerous ways he has, he has been with you even when you were ignorant of your divine identity. And he said, this time, enough. Enough. The people of Israel, when the first time they pursued them, again they are pursuing. Say, ah, uh-uh. ah, that time you went, I was not there. But this time, the commander was there. Somebody said, the commander of the army is present. <laughs> oh, remember, his name is the Lord is present. The last time you went on your own, you were defeated and they pursued. This time, in my presence, as the commander, he stretched out the spear. Turn back. Come back against the pursuer. And the people, they knew the sign of war. Wednesday, wherever the spear of the commander will go, that's where the action is. That's where all the resources, the authority backing. Meaning, we are turning back, not on our own strength. Yes, we are fearful. We are being pursued. Yes, we have nothing within us to fight. But by the, by the order of the commander, by his authority, we confront our pursuer. I don't know what's been targeting to pursue, to weary, to put you in fear, to make you feel you are not going to get it. Remember who was pursuing the people of Israel? Ai. Ai simply means what? Ruin. And where were they pursuing them to? Wilderness. People of Israel now sandwich between ruin and wilderness. If they fall back, they fall into ruin. If they keep being pursued, they are going into wilderness. And the Lord said, none of the above, turn back. You are not going into wilderness. You are not going to be wasted. And you, ruin will not catch up with you. I don't know what you have invested your life in. The enemy is threatening you, is going to ruin it. And that if you pursue this goal, it's going to be a waste. It's going to be wilderness. Somebody say, it's a lie of the devil. Shout it louder. Let me tell you, that has been the desire of the enemy for a very long time. The spirit of this age has always desired that, that no where to fall to. Was that not what happened when the children of Israel left Egypt? Pharaoh and his us men pursued them. In Exodus chapter 14, verse number 3, what says the scripture? There the Bible accounted. At this point, these people passed through the wilderness. And there, there was Pharaoh's army pursuing from behind, and there was the Red Sea ahead. And what did Pharaoh say? For Pharaoh will say unto the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. Somebody say, as ye overlive it, 
Oh, you better double that aggression. This morning is no joke. Say, as Jehovah liveth, and as his spirit lives, wilderness shall not shut me up. Wilderness shall not consume me. Wilderness shall not swallow me up. In the mighty name of Jesus, you better lift up your voice and decree. As the Lord liveth and as his spirit lives, in the mighty name of Jesus, wilderness shall not shut me up. Wilderness shall not trap me. Wilderness shall not swallow me up. In the mighty name of Jesus, wastage shall not swallow me up. Ruin shall not swallow me up. Wilderness shall not swallow me up. Wilderness shall not shut me up. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, and everybody says, make it a threefold resounding amen. amen. Another threefold resounding amen. amen. And back to our text in Joshua chapter 8, verse 26, verse 6. The scripture in Joshua chapter 8, verse 26, as Joshua lifted up his spear against the pursuit of the enemy. The Bible said, he did not withdraw his hand until all the people of Ahai were totally destroyed. And for Joshua drew not his hand back. Wherewith he stretched out the spear until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of here. And somebody shout. Somebody shout. Yeah. Meaning the spear of the commander of the army that is stretched against your pursuer will never be withdrawn. Yeah. Until there is shout of victory in your heart. Yeah. Until shout of victory in your camp. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. The people thought they will kill us this time. It's going to be worse. The Lord said no. The multitude of the people of Ai pursuing, they were much more than before. And they kept pursuing. And you can imagine those who did not know the warfare strategy for the day. In the camp of Israel, they'll be yelling, Yeah, they come again. No, ruin is pursuing, they are pursuing us to wilderness. Nobody to help us. Look at Joshua, all you are doing is just to stand there looking. And he pressed his spear, turn back. The Lord is saying to somebody here, Turn back against your pursuer. Yeah. They have pursued you for too long. Where do you want to go? Who, are, who do you want to rely on that can help you? But because the Lord is the very present help in trouble, he will not give you into the hands of the enemy. No matter the ruin and their rage, they won't, it won't catch up with you. The Bible did not account that the ruin caught up with them. As they overlive it and as the spirit lives, ruin shall not catch up with you. In Jesus' name, the Bible did not say they, they were actually pursued back to the wilderness. They did not go to wilderness, and ruin did not catch up with them. In the name of Jesus, let I decree every ruin, the network of ruin and wilderness, and their pursuit against your life. Wind the fire, blast them to desolation. Somebody better lift up your voice and decree. I don't know what has been vowed. Anytime you want to progress, maybe you don't know the strategy behind this victory. They had just defeated Jericho. Jericho simply means fragments. Someone say fragments. Shout it loud. And the next city after Jericho was Heha, which means ruin. Meaning at any time you obtain victory, the fragments of your victory should spread far and above. But there was ruin saying this victory will not spread. We ruin the victory. And that's what people experience in life. When they, when they enjoy something good, the, 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 the determinate counsel of God is that that good thing will keep spreading. Someone say, good thing keeps spreading in my life. I mean, those who believe it's spreading, say good thing keeps spreading in my life. Those who believe evil will not spread, but good things will spread, shout it. Say evil will not spread in my life. Evil is cut off and dry up. Good things spread. Far and above in my life. In Jesus' name. And you agree to that, say yes. yes. When the fragrance of victory began to spread, there was ruin. Say, we spoil your victory. Someone say no. no. When 
when the fragrance of victory was breaking forth, ruin was waiting. And when the fragrance was going, ruin cut it off. The fragrance rose up again. Say, said, we have a greater scent than you. We will move. He pursued them again. The Lord said, turn back against them. The aroma of God in you must quench every ruin, must quench every defilement, must quench the dumb spirit, the irritation, they are programming to your life. Your victory aroma must spread. Somebody say, my victory aroma must spread. Oh, you better shout that. Therefore, you will declare, say, network of ruin and wilderness. You better don't allow ruin and wilderness to sandwich you. Say, network of ruin and wilderness against my law. Let God arise. Shatter them asunder. You better shatter. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Raga de get the blood scadish. Meske de get lugarus kabah. La da 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 de aske. Cause be the network of ruin and wilderness attack against this garden. The blood of Jesus rebuke and condemn ruin and wilderness in this garden. In the name of Jesus, network of ruin and wilderness against this garden. Wind of fire, blast them asunder, blast asunder. In the name of Jesus, let God arise, shatter to desolation. The network of ruin and wilderness against my life in jesus name amen can we take it a little deeper because i see the hand of god rescuing somebody they can't sandwich you what says the scripture in psalm 35 let's take it from verse number three and we take it to verse number six if what it doesn't matter what is pursuing you you are claiming victory over them they won't catch up with you the spear of the commander is against them lift up your voice say wilderness and ruin pursuing my life hear your divine verdict as it is written draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me say unto my soul i am the salvation draw out also the spear yes let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul let them be turned back and brought to confusion that desire my heart in the name of jesus let them be a sharp before the wind and let the angel of the lord chase them in the name of jesus let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the lord persecute them in jesus name and everybody says can you put verses three, four, five, six together in a, in, a, in a page? You are ready for this? Say yes. Oh, ruin was pursuing, pursuing them to wilderness. But the commander released his spear and said, I am turning this battle around. The enough of the pursuit, turn against your pursuer. The Lord God of Israel, the commander of the God of Israel, is turning your own case around too. It's turning your own battle around too. Somebody say, let the battle turn around. Lift up your voice and decree, this is no joke. Say, network of ruin and wilderness. Network of ruin and wilderness. Pursuing after my life. This is your divine verdict, as it is written. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. And say unto my soul, I am the salvation. Let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that desire my, deserve my lot. Let them be as sharp before the wind and let the angels of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. In the name of Jesus, unto every network of ruin and wilderness against my life, hear the voice of the Lord. This is your divine body as it is written. Draw out also despair and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am the salvation. Let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that desire my heart. Let them be as sharp before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery. 
and let the angel of the Lord persecute them unto the next walk of ruin and wilderness against this garden. This is your divine verdict as it is written. Go out also despair and sob the way against them that persecute us. Let their uh, say to our soul, I am the salvation. Let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that desire my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, let them be as sharp before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Yes, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and declare that against the pursuer, against wilderness pursuit, against ruin pursuit, let the commander of the Lord arise for your sake this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody shout. Make it a threefold resounding amen. 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 The commander of the army lifted up a spear against the pursuer. Resurrected Jesus, the commander of the army, is lifting up a spear against whatever that is been pursuing you. And he's saying, valiantly turn around and confront this pursuit. Ruin must not catch up with you. They must not pursue you to the wilderness. And look at this. You ready for this? Say yes. As he, the commander pointed out the spear. And they were wondering, are we strong enough to, post, to fight these people? It's not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. The battle is the Lord's, and he has given you the victory. It's not by, spirit, my, it's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. As the commander pointed the spear against the pursuer, what happened? The ambush arose, and they ran into the city, set it on fire. And the people of Ai, knowing they were still pursuing, unknown to them that their habitation has been consumed, their house has been set on fire, and the smoke of the of the of the fire, it gave the whole place. They lost the strength to pursue. Why? Has it not been written? Let their habitations become desolate and let no one dwell therein. His office, let the Holy Spirit take. When you feel you have been pursued and you are powerless, and the Lord is saying, Turn back against the pursuer, do you think God is counting on your strength? There are warriors of Jehovah that are battle ready, that we yield to the command of the law. And desolate the camp, desolate the sources of the pursuer, desolate the habitation and the resources of the pursuer, and weaken their strength. And the people that invaded and slaughtered at first lost the power to kill. So when the Lord is saying, Turn back, you say, What do I have to turn back? I, 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 is it not me? I don't think it's not about you. All you need to do, Lord, even though I feel helpless and weak, but at your command, this pursuit must stop. And the moment they turn back, wow, the warriors of the Lord are taking action. And they consume their tent and they turn against the people. They pursue them, they destroy them from behind. Unknown to many of you that is still willing, crying about the pursuer from behind, the Lord is invading their camp. You need not fight in this battle because the captain of the Lord God of Israel is releasing his spear as the authority to bring a shift into whatever that has been pursuing your life. And the pursuer lost their strength. In like manner, I speak unto you by the unction of the Holy Spirit. Every pursuit against your law, the commander of the Lord God of Israel has released his warriors ready for battle to fight on your behalf. You agree to that? Shout amen threefold. Amen. 
by that command the warriors of the lord that are battle ready they took over the battle the, by that command the warriors of the lord they arose to fire in like manner just lift up those hands unto the lord say the warriors of jehovah that are battle ready ah this is no joke somebody lift up those hands say the warriors of jehovah that are battle ready by divine command invade my adversaries and desolate them the warriors of jehovah that are battle ready invade my adversaries desolate them invade desolate invade desolate invade desolate in the name of jesus hey jacate jagagagagaraski man sateke daglakadea warriors of jehovah that are battle ready invade the camp of my adversaries invade the, the pursuers of my life waste them and desolate them overthrow them to desolations in the name of jesus yes make it a loska mayakata galegraska de galendea make it a get the galea hey racket a get your cardia maga de get the broskeba aha amen all you've been hearing has been the, 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 the shout of the pursuer, their threats, their raging and their curses. But as they turned back, they saw the warriors of Jehovah were lying in wait. And say, oh my God, I thought I'm going to fight this by myself. I thought God has abandoned me. Look at this, before I even lift up my hands, the Lord has gone ahead to set to the battle. I see the hand of the Lord going ahead somebody here. No matter the pursuit, they can't sandwich you. They can't bring you to ruin. They can't pursue you to wilderness. Let there be a shift. Let there be a turnaround over your situation in the name of jesus let the pursuit come under the arrest of the holy spirit let the pursuer come under the arrest of the blood of jesus and let the hand of the lord waste them in the mighty name of jesus and the fragrance of victory continues spreading ruin cannot destroy it and they advance past here somebody's here today the hand of the lord is causing you to advance ruin can't stop it wilderness can't hold you back the hand of the lord is causing the aroma of victory i feel the aroma of victory in the house i feel the aroma of victory in the house Somebody just give God a wave offering. Malikros kapayondori. There's an aroma of great victory in this house. Defeat cannot determine your identity. Failure cannot claim your joyful identity. I see the aroma of victory being released. Just give God a wave offering. Aha, let's celebrate this victory so joyful in the house. Legodon do kraskaba. Ruin shall not catch up with you. Affliction shall not catch up with you. Let's celebrate Jesus in the house. Give God a wave offering in the house. Lo kapori anapapapa. Maskidolo shaba. Every high thing must come down. Every song go shall be broken. We wear the big boss crown. We have a crown. We have a crown. Every high thing must come down. Every song go shall be broken. You wear the big boss crown.
to declare lifting up those two hands unto the Lord say warriors of Jehovah that are battle ready turn against the pursuers of my life in the name of Jesus warriors of Jehovah that are battle ready turn against the pursuers of my life waste them unto desolation waste them unto desolations in the mighty name of Jesus the warriors of Jehovah that are battle ready turn against the wicked pursuers of my life waste them unto desolation and bring them to desolations in Jesus mighty name we pray and everybody says now you are here just like the people of Israel sandwiched between ruin and wilderness and they don't know where to fall they can't, if they fall back it's ruin if they keep going it's wilderness are there some things you have done or investment you have made or think decisions you have made in life and the way it looks is like everything is going to fall apart not just fall apart it's going to be a great wastage and it's like you are some wish what am i going to do i can't quit it's hard to continue have you been sandwiched in decisions you have made or things you are doing and you say lord i depend on you for rescue if that concerns you just find your way forward as we continue that song because the hand of the Lord is going to rescue you. <laughs> you are sandwiched between two opinions, two decisions, two situations. And you are saying, Lord, I don't know where to turn to. Same was the people of Israel. But the Lord lifted them up. They turned around, the Lord turned around their situations. He turned their life around. And they celebrated in victory. Lift up your voice and let's celebrate Jesus as we sing that song again. Everything must come down. Every struggle shall be broken. You wear the people's crown. You are the God. You are the God. Every high thing must come down. Every struggle shall be broken. You wear the people's crown. You are the God. You are the God. Every high thing must come down. Every struggle shall be broken. You wear the people's crown. You are the God. People of Israel, they were in the same shoe. They were defeated the first time. They attempted rising. It was much difficult. And they were sandwiched between wilderness and ruin. But because of the commander of the army, he's saying, I'm turning your battle around. The same resurrected Jesus, the commander of the army, is lifting up the spear on your behalf to turn your battle around. Are you ready for this? Say yes. yes. Say resurrected Jesus. Oh, if I were you, I'm, I'm going to hit it really hard. Say resurrected Jesus. The commander of the army. In your mercy, turn my battle around unto victory. Turn my life around unto victory. Turn my situation around unto victory. Turn my life around unto victory. In the name of Jesus. Resurrected Jesus, the commander of the hammer. Resurrected Jesus, the commander of the hammer. Resurrected Jesus, the commander of the hammer. In your mercy, turn my life around for miracles. Turn my life around for good. Turn my situation around for good. Turn my life around for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just let there be a divine turnaround. 
let there be a divine turn around mention that situation be very specific now ask him to turn it around for good ask him to turn your life around for good he alone can do it it doesn't matter the pursuit resurrected jesus the commander of the army the hour has come now is the hour turn your life around for good 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 turn your life around now for good in the name of jesus hey it's happening right now it's happening right now thank you jesus i see a turn around somebody lift up your voice and double the aggression aha uh -huh. yes 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus mention that situation call for divine intervention ask the commander of the army to turn it around for good mention that situation yes pray for divine intervention let the commander of the army turn your life and that situation around for good now in jesus mighty name and everybody says your right hand on your chest you are going to command say i decree divine escape double that aggression somebody i decree divine escape that my life will not be sandwiched by the wicked in jesus name my life shall not be sandwiched by the wicked therefore i escape i escape i escape they can't sandwich you they can't sandwich you escape by the mercy of god escape in jesus name escape by the right hand of god in jesus name escape escape let there be divine escape let there be divine escape right now in the name of jesus escape the sandwiching escape the pursuer escape their rages loose and be set free in jesus mighty name and everybody says why were they pursuing them they just defeated jericho which means fragments they want to ruin the fragments of victory there is a great aroma in you that must spread that's the reason for pursuit they don't want it to spread put your two hands on your belly and you are going to command say the, the, say my aroma of victory and that's who you are that's your true identity meaning it doesn't matter the situation or where you find yourself you are always victorious do you agree to that there is an aroma of victory you carry and ruin was pursuing say this is not going to spread but god said i will cause it to spread that was the reason for the pursuit your two hands on your belly remember out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water lift up your voice and decree say my, say Aroma of victory. Aroma of victory. Aroma of victory. Spring forth speedily in my life. Now, if I were you, I will settle with this. Aroma of victory. Spring forth speedily in my life. Now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Aroma of victory. Spring forth speedily. Just command it. In the name of Jesus. Aroma of victory. Spring forth. In Jesus' name. Spring forth. In Jesus' name. Aroma of victory. Spring forth. Loose. Aroma of victory by divine command spring forth now in your life in Jesus' name. Spring forth, glory spring forth, blessing spring forth in Jesus' name. Aroma of victory spring forth in Jesus' name by divine command. I command, I decree, aroma of victory spring forth in your life. Aroma of victory spring forth in the name of Jesus. Aroma of victory spring forth in Jesus' name. Aroma of favor and blessing spring forth in your life in the name of Jesus. Command and it does spring forth. Adam of victory. Spring forth speedily. In all areas of your life. In Jesus mighty name. 
retain the hands on that belly. I decree the power of the Holy Spirit upon your life. Blessings spring forth in your life. Honor spring forth in your life. Glory spring forth in your life. In the name of Jesus. And everybody says, go forth and be established in that victory. In Jesus' name. Lift up your voice and let's celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Give God a praise. If our you are we celebrating, the arm of victory is already spreading in the house. Let it spread forth. Give God a wave offering. That arm of victory is spreading. Can you just worship? Let this victory keep spreading. Every good thing God has settled in your life shall not be ruined. In the name of Jesus. Every good thing God has established in your life shall not be pursued into wilderness. Shall not be trapped. Let the glory blossom and flourish in Jesus' name. Mm. Mention specific situations in your life that you are believing God for joyful testimony and decree aroma of victory spring forth in this area of my life. Yes, the healing power of God is in the house. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Mention specific situation and say, I decree the aroma of victory spring forth in this area of my life. Spring forth. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let the seal of the Holy Spirit establish this unto testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the church says, you are here, you have not given your heart to Jesus. That's where the victory begins. Confessing your sins and asking Jesus to come into your life, the joy of salvation shall come upon you. You're making that decision to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, just lift up those hands unto the Lord. I want to be born again. You're making that decision, confessing your sins and repenting and asking Jesus to come into your life, just lift up those hands. Eternal Father, confirm and establish the joy of salvation in our lives. In Jesus Christ's name. And the church says,